Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Veterans Day at the Alamo. The ground on which you stand is made sacred by the blood of those hero men that fought for our freedom. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Jack Cowan, United States Army retired. I and my comrades are dressed in Spanish uniforms worn by men who fought for American independence during the American Revolutionary War under the command of General Bernardo de Galvez. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918, an armistice or temporary cessation of hostilities was declared between the Allied nations and Germany in the First World War, then known as the Great War. Commemorated as Armistice Day beginning the following year, November the 11th became the legal federal holiday in the United States in 1938. On November the 11th, 1921, an unidentified American soldier killed in the war was buried at Arlington National Cemetery in Washington, D.C. The U.S. Congress had declared the day a legal federal holiday in honor of all who served or participated in the war. On June the 4th, 1926, Congress passed a resolution that the reoccurring anniversary of November the 11th, 1918 should be commemorated with thanksgiving and prayer and exercises designed to perpetuate peace through goodwill and mutual understanding between nations and that the president should issue an annual proclamation calling for the observance of Armistice Day. In 1954, after lobbying efforts by veterans service organizations, the 83rd U.S. Congress amended the 1938 Act that had made Armistice Day a holiday, striking the word armistice in favor of veterans. President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed the legislation on June 1, 1954. From then on, signed from then on, November the 11th became a day to honor American veterans of all wars. Some of you may know that the Alamo and all the missions along the San Antonio River provided cattle during the last three years of the American Revolution, which were trail driven all the way to the Mississippi River to feed the soldiers who fought in the American Revolution. Many of the trail drivers upon reaching that battle area joined the actual fighting and thus, all, by all rights, be considered veterans of the American Revolutionary War and be remembered this day along with all other veterans who gave service to this country and to the world of peace. God bless them all. We will now lower the flag in honor of those veterans, and all veterans, and say a silent prayer in their memory. Good. Thank you, Phil. Oh. 